Hello everyone, my name is Trey Rizor. I'm the author of the Murray the Milkman children's books and today we are going to read Murray the Milkman Presents Milk and Cows written by Trey Rizor, illustrated by Rodlinga Halimi. One warm morning, Murray the Milkman was driving through Tip Top Village with his niece and nephew, Dione and Daniel. They were drinking milk through their straws. Murray said to Dione and Daniel, Drink up now. You don't want to waste all that good milk. Daniel challenged Dione to a drinking race. Last one to finish is a smelly rascal. On your marks, get set, go! They both started sucking milk through their straws. When the empty slurping noise began, Dione shouted, finish. Seconds later, Daniel shouted, finish. It's a draw, a tie. Hold your horses, Daniel. No need to tell porky pies. Dione, you won. <laughs> and Daniel slurped a close second, Murray said. Dione raised her hands as the winner. Uncle Murray, I told Daniel that goats make milk as well as cows. But he said they don't. Is that true? Dione asked Murray. <laughs> of course it's true. Milk only comes from cows, Daniel insisted. Murray explained to the children, well, milk can come from both goats and cows, but most people drink cow's milk. At that moment, they walked into the baker's shop. I told you, Dione said boastfully, both started pulling faces at each other. Now, now, children, there's lots of different animals that produce milk for their babies. Not just cows and goats. Also, there are types of milk that come from plant and fruits, such as almond, soy, rice, and don't forget coconut milk. Uncle Murray, how do you get the milk? Daniel asks. Well, you have to milk the cow or goat, Murray answered. Milk the cow? How do you milk the cow, Uncle Murray? asks Dione. Well, you grip the cow's udder and gently pull, then the milk comes out, Murray replied. Uncle Murray, I don't understand, replied Daniel, looking confused. Murray said, I think we will have to pay good old Farmer Gribbles a visit and he will explain it to you. Murray drove to the entrance of Woodland Farm. Farmer Gribbles was feeding the horses. Right on time. The milkman has arrived, Farmer Gribbles said to himself. Beep, beep. Murray pumped the horns to announce their arrival. Murray, Daniel and Dione hopped out of the van. Hey, Farmer Gribbles, I have some special friends I would like you to meet. Dione and Daniel. Well, hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you. And welcome to my farm, Farmer Gribbles replied. Hello, Farmer Gribbles, they both said with a cheerful grin. Farmer Gribbles, is there any chance you could show the children how we make that lovely creamy milk? Murray asked. There's plenty of chance for that to happen. You have come to the right place, Farmer Gribbles said, leading them to the milk production line. Farmer Gribbles put the tape suction cups on the cow's udder. Doesn't that hurt the cows? Dione asked curiously. Oh no, the tape cups are gentle, so the cow don't feel it much. They enjoy it with a spot of music. They produce some lovely milk, Farmer Gribbles answered. Mmm, tasty, Murray said in his own world, imagining the freshly produced milk. Murray was not the only one dreaming of tasty milk. Rascal the cat appeared outside the production shed after finishing his daily exercise. Meow! <laughs> that milkman is not around to catch me this time. All that exercise has made me thirsty. I need some milk to keep my strength. Rascal said, sneaking up to the milk van. Mmm, creamy milk for my tummy. I think I will start with mm, seven bottles. R Rascal swept seven bottles from the milk van and hopped off as fast as his little legs will carry him. The milk is mine! All mine! Meow! 
rascal, laughed at running away. Murray, Dione and Daniel left the milk production shed with Farmer Gribbles. Thank you for showing us how milk is produced, Farmer Gribbles, Dione said gratefully. Yeah, it was fun seeing how milk is made. Thank you very much, Farmer Gribbles. That was very cool. Ah, you're welcome. And come back anytime. Don't forget, we can make cheese, yogurt, and cream from cows and goat's milk too, Farmer Gribbles told them. Bye, Farmer Gribbles, the children said as they ran back to the milk van. Thank you very much, Gribbles said Murray. The cows look a bit tired after all that milking. Does that make them want to sleep? Ah, oh, no. Nah. The cows lay down when it's going to rain, Farmer Gribbles replied. They did the milkman handshake and then Murray went into the milk van and drove off. Meanwhile, at the back of the farm, Rascal hid behind the trees about to guzzle the milk. Now for my well-earned tasty milk. Now? said Rascal. Rascal put the bottle to his lip and was just about to take a big swig when he heard the loudest moo that he has ever heard. It was so loud it shocked the naughty cat so much he jumped into the air. To his dismay he dropped all the bottles. They smashed and every last drop was spilt. The end.